Hey guys, Zephonix here, and um, I want to talk about what Hell on Earth 93 said. He said that Zephonix, uh, hold on a second, let me repeat that. Um, Zephonix starts a fight in public and publicly challenges people, then apologizes in private and disappears. That's fact. No. I'm going to explain to you what happened. See, I got this thing called a life, and sometimes it takes president over YouTube. It happens. Now, um, for the disappearing part, well, I'll talk about the disappearing part, but let me explain to you what happened. Um, regarding me and him. Basically, um, after the haircut video came out, he mailed me and said he was uh, happy that I finally got a haircut and that I want to continue with this. Now, uh, I said many times that um, it didn't even look like he really, really wanted to do all this. It just He was doing it, but he really didn't want to. And um, that's the kind of feeling that I got from him. Not that he couldn't, but he just really, it doesn't seem like his heart was really into it. So, I decided to, um, you know, I probed about it. I told him, no, not really. And I told him the same thing. I said, not really. I don't want to go through this all the time. And quite frankly, neither do you. It doesn't sound like it. I told him why. The reason why that I didn't want to go through it is because I really do enjoy having a, having a channel where a lot of intelligent people can come together and have a discussion on gaming without having to be called names or whatever. And I've established that. I've established a point. I've, I've basically done things that people thought it could never happen is that where people can come together and actually have an intelligent conversation um, people still post things like trade for life which is fine um, I have no problem on people posting trade for life on my own um, videos if that was the case I would have deleted them blocked them a long time ago but I have no problem them doing it okay the trades a really good system so and it's come to a point right now where there's no there's no really arguments there's no bad arguments on my page no more and when they are, I try to stop it. Now, a lot of people have brought this to my attention. Um, I didn't put the video out, but there's a lot of people who really brought to my attention. I think even K, you guys, excuse me, I forget how to pronounce his name. I do apologize for that, even K, but even K93, I think it is, or 97, something like that. He said that this has gone way off topic. You know, and I wasn't sure if he was talking about the channel or the actual video, um, video series anyway, but he's right on both accounts. So that's the reason why it just didn't, I didn't feel like really going through it anymore. But anyway, um, I asked him though, he wanted me to apologize, and he was really bent on that, so I really wanted to know why before I even consider apologizing to him. So I did, I said, well, I want to know, why is it so important for, you, for me to apologize to you? You know, and what, am I, what do you want me to apologize on? And he said something that totally gave me a, cur a curveball. He said that he wanted me to apologize because I told him to shut the fuck up. Now, I was totally shocked at that. Because, I mean, those words come out of everyone else's mouth like quick and easy. So I really didn't see it as any reason to, you know, be angry. But yeah, he was angry about it that I told him that. And so, because I'm not really a the cussing type, nor um, and the fact that that was kind of uncalled for, I had no apologize. I had no problem apologizing. I mean, after realizing exactly what he wanted me to apologize for, I'm like, oh, is that what it is? If that's the case, then yeah. I can apologize for that because there was no reason for me to say that, you know. Now, if you want me to apologize for what I said in terms of, um, you know, in terms of, you know, saying that he was wrong, then no, we would have had to go back and forth all day long. Another reason why I, um, I stopped making videos for a second was, well, anyway, before I do that, that's the reason why um, I apologize because that's something that I can apologize for for saying something like that. If I was to say something like you're wrong and you're saying and that's, you know, that, this, those things I can say, you know, that I don't need to apologize for. I will not apologize for it. But if it's something like that, like you tell them to shut the fuck up, then yeah, I can apologize for that. You know, only well, mostly because it's like it was uncalled for. It really was on my part. And I said before, and I always say it. Whenever I'm wrong or something, I can easily say it with no problem. That's what happened. So now, another thing is, um, he also mentioned that I disappeared. Yes, of course I disappeared, my friend. I have this thing called a life. Remember? And my life kind of takes precedence over my life on YouTube. My real life takes precedence over my life on YouTube. It will always happen. And um, it might even happen tomorrow because I'm considering leaving again. Let me first explain to you what happened. You guys remember Mimi, right? Mimi is my girlfriend. Um, and our relationship has really started to broaden, you know, the one that you guys say don't exist. I hate to break it to you, but yeah, just because you're a nerd, and yeah, I do consider myself a nerd. Hey, I follow every single, like if you guys look up the um, what a nerd is, I really do kind of follow that. But 
I mean, I'm everything that a nerd is in everyone's aspects. I mean, look at my channel, you know, look at me, you know, I'm the Star Wars watching, Star Trek loving, you know, I mean, games are coming out, I'm getting excited over them, you know, my idea of a good time, it, well, one of my ideas of a good time is actually upgrading my computer, you know, I get, you know, inklings and I get tingles, can't wait to go ahead, well, you know what kind of tingles I'm talking about, not those kind of tingles, calm down. But I get, I can't, I get excited to go home and put my computer together. And be honest with you, that was my life uh, for the most part. That was until I met Mimi, and my life changed because no longer was I really concerned about. I mean, obviously I was concerned about other things too. You know, I mean, obviously certain things. If you guys know what I'm talking about right now about certain other things in my life, then you obviously know that that's an obvious kind of choice. No need to even mention that. But to be honest with you, it's like it wasn't up till I met her that things start taking a different turn, you know, it's like, after I met her, I just felt like there were just other things to look at, you know, and that's where it was, but anyway, so, uh, we went out, um, on Friday, Thursday, actually, um, we went out Thursday, and we went to, first of all, we went to dinner, we went to Chili's, and ironically enough, we didn't get anything Chili's like. We just got wings. We didn't want to eat too much for some reason. I didn't want to eat too much, neither did she. So we had a good time at Chili's, and we ate. And then after that, we decided to go out um, to a movie. So we watched Harry Potter. Um, I think it's number six, uh, Half Blood Prince, which is really good. So I really did like that movie. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on it. Um, I know, I've been to lots of my reviews, huh? Yeah, I need to press up on those, too. But anyway, so, yeah, we did that. And then um, on the way home, I said, listen, I think we need to pick up a drink because we had at Chili's, we had more margaritas and we had chicken wings, to be honest with you. We had like three things of margaritas and I had, well, three orders of them. Well, it was like a two for one special. So we ordered, we ordered three two for one specials, which means that we had six on the table and I drank four of them and she drank two. So yeah, I was kind of buzzed. I was all with the ha ha, you know, I was all with the ha ha. So <laughs> anyway, um, Long story short, shorter, we went uh, home, and before we went home, though, um, I said that I wanted to get something to drink, you know, some liquor. And so, you guys always know that I always drink out of my bottle. You know, I always have a bottle. This has become sort of my thing that I always do. And I was looking about what I wanted to get, and I think I went overboard because it's way too big, but this is what I got now. So this is what I picked up for myself and for the show, you know, so I figured now I'll drink out of this. I mean, granted that it has vodka in it, and um, judging how vodka tears the hell out of me, I really doubt that I'll be drinking this entire bottle. So, I really do, you know, this is kind of like my thing, you know, this is what I got from the trip, and uh, we're probably going out tomorrow as well, hopefully, if. You know, I gotta go to work tomorrow, so if everything works out, this is I will be going. If everything works out at work, I'll be going with her tomorrow afternoon. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, at any rate, um, I want to say that basically that's what happened. That's the reason why I disappeared. You guys gotta understand that my life doesn't uh, run around YouTube as much as some people might say it does. But at the same time, um, I want to give props to um. The people who have, you know, said that they were, they thought it was, oh boy, I smell something smoke, I smell something burn out there, <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm sorry, I had to check, you know, oh, you guys don't know, yeah, I do this as a, um, what do you call it, a, a part-time job. I have a main job, and I do this as a part-time job, you know, kind of have something to do on the weekends, but, which is kind of kicking my ass now, because I don't want to do this no more, <laughs> I want to spend the weekends with her, but anyway, so I wanted to let you guys know exactly what was going on in my life, and why I have not been on YouTube for for almost the entire weekend, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'm probably going to be going again, so, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, so, you guys have a good night, Zeph out.